Eighth grade unit four, lesson 15, writing systems of equations. Problem number one, Kieran and his cousin work during the summer for a landscaping company. Kieran's cousin has been working for the company longer, so his pay is 30% more than Kieran's. Last week, his cousin worked 27 hours and Kieran worked 23 hours. Together, they earned $493.85. What is Kieran's hourly pay? We can set it up like this. Let K equal Kieran's hourly wage and let C equal Kieran's cousin's hourly wage. Since Kieran's cousin makes 30% more than Kieran, we can write the first equation as C equals 1.3 times K. This represents 100% of what Kieran earns and 30% of what Kieran earns. The second equation is 27C plus 23K equals 493.85. 27C stands for 27 hours that Kieran's cousin worked, and 23K represents the 23 hours that Kieran worked. The 493.85 represents the $493.85 that they earned together. Now substitute the value of C into the second equation. We determined that C equaled 1.3K, so we can substitute the C with a 1.3K. 27 times 1.3K equals 35.1K. Next, we combine like terms. 35.1K plus 23K equals 58.1K. Divide both sides by 58.1, and Kieran makes $8.50 an hour. Problem number two. Decide which story can be represented by the system of equations. Y equals x plus 6 and x plus y equals 100. Explain your reasoning. A. Diego's teacher writes a test worth 100 points. There are six more multiple choice questions than short answer questions. In this story, y equals x plus 6 can be written where x and y represent the number of questions of each type. However, in the second equation, it doesn't make sense because X and Y represent points. Let's look at story B. Lynn and her younger cousin measure their heights. They notice that Lynn is 6 inches taller and their heights add up to exactly 100 inches. In this story, it makes sense that Y represents Lynn's height and X represents the younger cousin's height. I would select story B. Problem number three. Claire and Noah play a game in which they earn the same number of points for each goal and lose the same number of points for each penalty. Claire makes six goals and three penalties, ending the game with six points. Noah earns eight goals and nine penalties and ends the game with negative 22 points. A. Write a system of equations that describes Claire and Noah's outcomes. Use X to represent the number of points for a goal and y to represent the number of points for a penalty. Here's Claire's equation. 6g plus 3p equals 6. The 6g represents the 6 goals she scored, 3p represents her 3 penalties, and 6 represents the points she ends the game with. Here's a look at Claire's equation using x for goals and y for penalties. Here's Noah's equation. 8g plus 9p equals negative 22. 8g represents his 8 goals, 9p represents his 9 penalties, and negative 22 represents the number of points he ended the game with. Here's a look at Noah's equation using x for goals and y for penalties. b. Solve the system. What does your solution mean? We can start with Claire's equation. Let's subtract 6x from both sides. Divide both sides of the equal sign by 3. Now that we know that y equals 2 minus 2x, we can substitute the y with a 2 minus 2x in Noah's equation. Now his equation reads 8x plus 9 times 2 minus 2x equals negative 22. Use the distributive property to multiply 9 times 2 and 9 times negative 2x. Combine like terms, subtract 18 from both sides of the equal sign, 
divide both sides by negative 10, and we discover that 1x equals 4. So now we can substitute the x in Claire's equation with a 4. Now the equation reads y equals 2 minus 2 times 4, or y equals 2 minus 8. And now we know that y equals negative 6. The solution for the system is x value 4 and y value negative 6. And this means that each goal is worth 4 points and each penalty is worth negative 6 points. Problem number 4 from 8th grade unit 4 lesson 14. Solve y equals 6x minus 8 and y equals negative 3x plus 10. This tells us that 6x minus 8 equals negative 3x plus 10. Let's start solving by adding 3x to both sides of the equal sign. Now we have 9x minus 8 equals 10. Next, let's add 8 to both sides of the equal sign. Now we have 9x equals 18. Divide both sides by 9, and we have x equals 2. Now that we know the value for x is 2, we can substitute the x with a 2 in this equation. Now it reads y equals 6 times 2 minus 8. 6 times 2 is 12, so now we have y equals 12 minus 8. 12 minus 8 is 4, so we have y equals 4. The solution for this system of equation is x value 2 and y value 4. Problem number 5 from 8th grade unit 4 lesson 13. A. Estimate the coordinates of the point where the two lines meet. You can see where the two lines meet and if you look down to the x-axis it looks like it's a little bit more than one and a half. Maybe one and three fourths or 1.75 and if you look along the y-axis it looks a little bit less than one and a half. Perhaps 1.4. So my guess would be 1.75 for the x value and 1.4 for the y value. B. Choose two equations that make up the system represented by the graph. It looks to me like the y-intercept is at the origin, so the y-intercept would be zero. So we need to find an equation that would have the y-intercept as zero, and it looks to me like the slope is up four and to the right five. So that would be a rise over run of 4 over 5, which is the same thing as a slope of 8 tenths. So let's look at equation 5. y equals 8 tenths x, and then if we added a plus 0, that would be the y-intercept. So I would go with equation 5. For this line, we have a y-intercept of 6, and the slope goes down 5 and to the right 2. So that would be a negative 5 halves slope. And negative 5 halves equals negative 2 and a half. So the slope could be negative 2 and a half, which is the same as negative 2.5. This matches up perfectly with equation number 2. y equals 6 minus 2.5x. The 6 would be the y-intercept, and the minus 2.5 would be the slope. Let's use those two equations as a system of equations. And we can substitute the 0.8x for the y. So the second equation would read 0.8x equals 6 minus 2.5x. Add 2.5x to both sides. Divide both sides by 3.3. And 1x equals 1.81. Now we get to substitute the x in the other equation with a 1.81. So it reads y equals 0.8 times 1.81. Y equals 1.45 or 1 and 45 hundredths. The accurate answer is X value 1.81 and Y value 1.45. I think our estimate is pretty close. My estimate was 1.75 for the X value and 1.4 for the Y value. Show me some love. Like, comment, share, and subscribe.